Overnight, the US Federal Reserve gave a strong indication that interest rate cuts will happen this year. In Australia, economists are less certain. One thing the RBA and those economists are watching is the unemployment rate. We're standing by for the latest jobs number shortly for February after it ticked up in January to 4.1%. Our business editor, Ross Greenwood, is with me live now. Ross, what's the market expecting? Yeah, so a month ago when that number came in at 4.1%, which was more than expected, and even though there can be some aberrations that do take place early in the year, um, the expectation was that interest rates, the first cut, would come from the Reserve Bank in September. Uh, now, really, there's some thinking that maybe it's later in the year, if not into next year. Uh, and that's largely because even this unemployment rate today, when it drops in the next little while, um, is effectively suggested to be down to 4%. So in other words, the uh, whole of the economy is starting to stabilise. Uh, we're starting to see this now. In fact, it's dropped much, much further, 3.7%. So rather than rising, as you would expect with increasing interest rates, the unemployment rate has now dropped to 3.7% for the previous month. Now, we'll take you through some of the reasons as to why this has taken place, but do understand this will be a significant shock to the markets for it to have fallen so far. So the markets were expecting 4%. It was 4.1%. It's come in at 3.7%. Now, um, as we go through this, we'll see reactions, no doubt, in the Australian dollar, um, which is likely to fall as a result of this. It had been stronger. It's likely to be seen in the stock market, where the stock market is likely to be even higher again. But on top of that also, it's just trying to figure out where these jobs have come from as well. So here's the headline number. The unemployment rate was 4.1% in February. It has dropped to 3.7% in February. And do bear in mind that for the Reserve Bank to consider interest rate cuts in the future, it really very much would be, um, you know, sort of seeing the unemployment rate rising and not falling in this way. So, yeah, talk us through some of the detail of all of this, Ross, and particularly if you can elaborate as well on that RBA thinking um, will will their thinking, will their deliberations be affected by this larger than expected drop? Um, there's no doubt it will be. So you can see here, look at look at this. The trend had been pretty flat right the way through. It had gone to that close on 50-year lows of 3.5%. It's then ticking up. And bear in mind that the Reserve Bank thinks that the, re, that the unemployment rate sometime this year is getting out to four and a quarter. They may be going out towards 4.5%. So to see it come back in this way to 3.7% is pretty significant. So if I go through some of the key statistics, during this month, you've actually seen seen the, uh, amount of the, the amount of employment in Australia rise to 14.26 million people. So, in other words, the uh, full-time employment rose by 78,000 people. Part-time employment increased by 38,000 people. So, in other words, you've seen the best part of what's that, 116, 117,000 jobs created during that period of time. The participation rate, again, continues to be very, very strong. We know there are record numbers of women uh, working in our economy, which is a good thing, but also that's about the ability for families to cope with rising interest rates and the increased cost of living. Here's some other key stats there. Underemployment has fallen, which is a good news thing. So, in other words, people are not really struggling to get the work. And then, finally, the amount of hours worked has increased. So, as I say, this is a significant economic shock. Um, this is something that the markets did not anticipate, and it's certainly something that the Reserve Bank has not got in its scheme of things as to where it expects the economy to go, especially under the weight of the number of interest rate rises it's handed out over the past year or so. Ross, you alluded to the likely market reaction earlier. What are you seeing now early in the immediate aftermath of that number? Well, the two places this will show up is in the Australian dollar and in our stock market. If we go to the stock market now, um, what you're going to see is potentially it falling off. It had been very strong off the back of a record Wall Street overnight. And now, I indicate, as you indicated earlier, the Federal Reserve indicated there will be potentially three interest rate cuts there this year. This, this, this announcement uh, basically saying the unemployment rate is falling as dramatically as it is means interest rate cuts here are now not likely this year 
year if this continues and more likely next year. So if we go to the markets, we can probably have a look at the Australian dollar and the ASX 200. I can show you here the Australian dollar is. So the Australian dollar is continuing to be stronger. Now, the reason for that is because Australian interest rates are going to stay higher for longer. So they'll stay higher while US is cutting rates. So our dollar goes stronger above 66 US cents. And then have a little look at this one, the ASX 200 here. And you can see from that announcement, look at that fall. That fall is all about this latest employment number coming out, which is coming much, much lower than the market has anticipated. Indeed, Ross, it's uh, going to be an interesting few weeks as the RBA deliberates on all of this and this uh, surprise number, as you described it. Thanks so much.